All right. Well, I'll just do a quick welcome to everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Um, we are really excited about this live product update. We have some great updates coming for you. And we want to make sure that you can explore all of our past and our upcoming webinars. If you go to jobtread.com slash webinar, um, you can also find them on our YouTube channel. And yes, this will be recorded and it will be up there as well. Um, and if you'd like to continue the conversation at any point, learn more about it, you can find more information in the help desk on about all of these updates. Um, or if you're not yet a job tread customer, you can reach out to us on our website. All right, Eric, take it away. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. We're so excited to have you here today. You know, this uh, I, I genuinely believe this is going to be one of those monumental uh, job tread connect. Uh, job tread live updates. You know, we we are just so excited for some of the updates that we've got to share with you today. You know, when I when I think back about the moments in time that you know have just been those critical you know turning points for us, I, I just I know this uh, I know this product update is one of those. So I am really excited to have you here. You know, we've got over 200 people who are like in the webinar right now. We've had almost 450 you know registered. So I know sometimes it takes a minute to to get you in here, but I'm going to go ahead and and kick it off and get going. So first off, I want to start off saying, if you're not part of our Facebook group, Job Tread Pros, uh, I would love to get everyone in there. You know, we've got over 1,500 of our members there. This group is, has been phenomenal. It, it seriously shows the community that we have built around Job Tread. And, you, you know, it's a great way to get help, ask questions, you know, learn tips and tricks, you know, such an awesome group. And I just wanted to showcase a couple of the, you know, the recent posts where, you know, we've got people, you know, sharing, you know, their schedule templates, their budget templates, like how to, you know, create Zapiers, you know, just like so much awesome, you know, content and and and, and sharing and collaboration is going on here in Job Tread Pro. So, you know, definitely, you know, get get connected. You know, I, I try to friend request as, as, as many of you guys when you're joining as I can, you know, Facebook's uh, quit letting me add friends. So, you know, definitely shoot me a friend request too. Uh, but we are so excited to have you part of our community and to, to, to really continue building this awesome relationship. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Builder Stories. You know, we launched this podcast uh, at the beginning of August. We've already had some exceptional, you know, uh, uh, podcast episodes on here. You can see we've we've got, you know, Peter Rainey. We've got Zach Snyder, Chad Huber, you know, Wally Munez. You know, we've got, you know, Steve Tonkins, Josh Wynn, Travis Gunner. And I got so many more great stories that I've already recorded. You know, we release, release them every Wednesday, uh, first thing in the morning. I'm super excited, guys. Like the whole point of Builder Stories is for us to finally be able to capture all of these success stories and, and document them, being able to share them out there with the entire industry. There's so much that you can learn by hearing, you know, your, your, your peers and colleagues in the space that, you know, that, that they've already gone through. And so, you know, the whole point is to be able to capture, you know, these lessons learned and to help other entrepreneurs and other construction business owners to better scale your business. So, you know, definitely tune in. You can, you can catch us on all the, you know, the, the common podcast apps, Apple podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, you know, and, and, and if you got a story to share, we would love to have you on as well, uh, www.builderstories.com. And you can, uh, you can submit the, the, the request, the profile there, and, and we'll be in touch. But definitely tune into that. I also want to take a moment to just give you a, a heartfelt, you know, thank you so much to all of our users and, and our customers. Like you all rated us number one construction estimating software and number one construction management software on multiple review sites, you know, on, on software advice, on GitApp, you know, this has just been tremendous, you know, to, to see the outpouring and, and it's, and it's, and it's just such an amazing thing. We're so grateful. This is what helps us keep getting, you know, that recognition and getting our name out there. Uh, you know, also a shout out to our team, you know, second year in a row, we've been rated one of the best places to work in Dallas. Um, but, you know, again, these, these reviews, they, they mean the world to us. Um, you know, again, here you can see, you know, front runner, you know, on software advice like job tread right there, the top right of the quadrant, you know, on, on Git app, you know, rank number one. You know, if you haven't given us a review online, you know, after this, this, this uh, town hall here, like, you know, if, if, if you feel motivated, inspired, you know, you think we've earned your five star review, please go out there and, and share those because that's what continues to help us get our name out to the market and to, to help other contractors find and join us. Super excited. We got some awesome, awesome conferences coming up. Next week, we're going to be in Chicago with Remodeler Summit. 
you know, this is uh, the, 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 the conference hosted by Remodelers Advantage. You know, it's a phenomenal group. You know, I, I'm super excited to be back out there. Last year was our first year. You know, it's, it's minimum of a million dollars in revenue to be part of this group. You know, this really helped us break into, you know, and take it to a whole nother level with Job Tread. You know, we've learned a ton from working with all of the initial people who, who joined us at last year's Remodeler Summit. Um, also, one of my favorite, all-time favorite events is Mile High Profit Summit. It's uh, the contractor fights, a uh, big event every year with Tom Reber. You know, we, we, we have had, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people from, you know, this, this, this organization, the contractor fight, join us. You know, this event is, is a tremendous event. This is their third year doing it. We've been a sponsor every year. You know, if, if, if you all are there, you know, please come out to our booth, come see us. You know, we, we want to give everyone a hat. You know, if, if you are, you know, proud to be a job trade customer and user, like come, come get a hat for us. We would love for you to help promote job trade at the event. You know, and again, this, this, this goes without saying, but like the more that you guys can help other people find out about us and, 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 and help bring them to our booth and help them learn about job trade, that helps us continue growing our company. That helps us keep our costs down because every single time we can sign up multiple people at this event, you know, our, our customer acquisition cost stays low, you know, and, and it helps us continue growing and reinvesting everything that we're making back into our team. So, you know, we, we'd really appreciate your support at these events and helping us create awareness. Um, after that, going straight from Mile High to uh, the, the Neary National Conference in Las Vegas, going to be another really exciting uh, you know event out there. So again, come by, come see us. You know, would love to get you guys uh, decked out in the job tread gear. Um, but yeah, these these are really exciting events. You know, if you hadn't gotten your tickets, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can still get tickets for all of them. But look forward to uh, to seeing each and every one of you out there at these events. Most important event, the one that I'm most excited about though, is Job Tread Connect. It's our annual user conference. You know, this last January was, was our first year doing it. You know, this year it's going to be even bigger, even better. You know, we had over 200 people show up to our event last year. We, we, we didn't know what to expect. We were just thrilled, you know, but we are just so excited about the, the programming that we're going to bring you this year. We got great speakers. You know, we, 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 we went uh, early bird ticket release on uh, the beginning of August, like within the same day, we entirely sold out. We've got over 100 people registered for this event and we, we barely started marketing it. But, you know, if if you attended last year, you know, let me see in the chat who all who all attended. And would you recommend, you know, the, the you know, people come this year? Are you coming back this year? You know, I'd love to see, uh, you know, who all is, uh, you know, who all is going to be there. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Mira, the, the event will be at our new Job Tread headquarters. Uh, we actually have a uh, we, we, we've got a hotel. The Westin is, is attached to our office and so we're going to be able to do an event here that first night. And then we got an awesome big night out after that. At a, we've rented out the entire bowling alley. Uh, really, it's bowling and billiards, a, a, a new one different from last year. But this one's going to be awesome. We're so excited to have you all come. You know, I look forward to, uh, to, to seeing everyone there. Uh, Dan, no, it's definitely not sold out. Just the early bird tickets. We got tickets. Uh, we're, you know, we're, we're shooting for four to 500 people this year. And, you know, again, if you went, once you get your ticket, we would love for you to share that on social, share it in your other contractor groups, share it on job tread pros. Like we want to get the word out about this event. We're super passionate about delivering education and helping you all grow your business so that you can become better contractors and make more money. This event will help you do that. I'm confident in that. Moving on. I am super, super excited about a couple new hires that are joining our team. Um, you know, many of you may not realize, and, and, and it's uh, often uh, very surprising when I share this, but, you know, right now we have three people on our development team. Job Tread has been single-handedly built by my co-founder and the most phenomenal developer I've ever worked with, Casey Foster. He is just extremely talented. He's also got Nate and Andrew on his team. You know, these guys have been crushing it. I'm sure as you're going to see today, like we are so fortunate and we have been looking for years to find another developer, someone who can bring an extreme amount of experience and skill set to our team. And I'm just so stoked that, you know, through uh, the, the, you know, the contractor staffing source, they helped us find Mike Eskridge who he comes from construction background. He has worked as a project manager at the fourth largest GC in the country, turned developer, got a master's in, in, in civil engineering. Like he is super passionate about construction and about software, the perfect fit for our team. I could not be more excited after years and years of waiting and looking. I, I never thought we were going to be able to find somebody who, who Casey would deem worthy of bringing to this team. And, you know, Michael here is, is joining us on uh, September 25th. Like we're ecstatic. 
Uh, we've also got Ross Burris, who just started yesterday. He is a new customer support specialist. He comes from a home builder. He's got great experience. We're super excited to have him on the team. You know, please, in the chat box, give, give Mike and Ross, you know, a, a warm welcome from, uh, from all of you out there. And, and also, we are looking to keep growing our team. You know, we, we are committed to taking every single dollar that we make, reinvesting it into the company, into the people, into, you know, what we're doing here. And so we are looking for more customer success managers. We're looking for, you know, more salespeople. We need more people with marketing. You know, we are excited, but we do take our time. You know, we were very fortunate. We got contractor staffing source helping us make sure that we, we hire the right people and the best people. Because, you you know, as you all know, as business owners, like it's so important that you only bring A players onto your team. And, uh, you know, we, we are looking for people. So if you know anyone, you know, or if you yourself, you know, we would love to hire anybody who is, you know, a job trade customer or has got, you know, construction experience. You've been a project manager. You've used construction software. You know, we make sure that every single person we hire is going to be the best for whatever role they're joining us in. So please do share that, you know, with others if, if, if you know anyone. Quick shout out again to Contractor Staffing Source. Like, you know, these guys have, have, have been working with us for several months now. They uh, they are super, you know, great at what they do. You know, as I said earlier, like I, I, I seriously, I, I never thought we were going to find somebody else to join our development team and contractor staffing source did it. You know, they have been helping us, you know, assess every applicant to understand their strengths, their weaknesses, you know, giving us a much better picture of who the best people to bring onto our team are. And one of the super cool things that they have, uh, you know, basically offered up to all of our customers is they're going to give you your first month free. If you reach out to them through the job tread marketplace, by the end of today, they are going to give you their first month free, let you try their services. They did that for us. We are hooked. It's phenomenal. It has saved so much of our time. And again, you guys are business owners. You're busy. If you can't devote the time and the energy that's required to make sure you're building the best team, then definitely check these guys out. You know, Paul is, is the owner. He uh, has also said, look, they will teach you exactly what they're doing. They're going to give you all the assessments. And it's, you know, again, if you got, if you got the bandwidth to do it yourself, let them teach you and go do it yourself. But if you don't, then again, like you, you really should look at their services because they can help you find the best people out there. They're also agreeing to give all of the job tread customers, you know, 500 bucks off their normal, you know, monthly service. So check them out in the, in the marketplace. And again, if you're interested in that, you know, reach out to them through that marketplace today. Uh, and, and they're going to honor that, uh, that, that, that first month free, you know, even if it takes them a couple of days, you know, to get back to you, you know, which, you know, depending on how many inquiries they get today, it might, but, you know, reach out to them. They're good guys. I also want to highlight a couple of our other partners, you know, Tom Houghton with Round Peg Solutions. He has done a phenomenal job with a lot of our customers. He has extensive experience with Builder Trend and Co-Construct. He actually worked at Builder Trend for a while. He has come in and helping do on-site trainings to onboard entire teams. And he has just been a, a tremendous resource because we're not able, you know, to travel out as much as we wish we could to every one of our customers. But his in-depth, you know, implementation and training services we, we have seen have been top-notch, lots of great success there. Also have virtual construction controllers joining us. You know, they have been working with several of our customers for many months now. Uh, Fran and Lorena have been tremendously helpful to us and to our customers. They, they bring a plethora of knowledge about, you know, the, the back office, the, the, the managing, you know, your, your projects. They are able to add a lot of, you know, resource and bandwidth to your team. So if you need, you know, help in, in any regard, you know, definitely reach out to them. You know, and last, we've got Height Digital is joining us uh, on the marketplace you know, we're, we're going to be doing a, a webinar with them uh, as well as VCC here in, in the next uh, several weeks. Uh, but they're a, a full service, you know, marketing agency, you know, excited to have them on board as well. You can find them and learn more about them in the marketplace. Uh, again, just wanted to, 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 to thank our partners, you know, and all of them. I mean, this is just the new ones, but, you know, they continue to be great advocates for job tread. They know our product inside and out and can be a great resource for you. So we want to help you get connected. All right. Without further ado, I am so excited to get into you know the the, the product updates that we're here to share today. Uh, we've we've just got some phenomenal things that we have done. It, it was it's been since the end of June when we did our last uh, product uh, live you know release here. So excited to, to walk through everything uh, with you today. You know, as I'm going through these, if any of these updates have already made an impact on your business or you're excited to get them implemented, you know, definitely uh, you know let us know in the chat. If you got questions, you know, I've got a couple of people from our team are, are ready to answer your questions, but, you know, super excited to dig into this. So here we go. So the activity feed filters, this came from 
Uh, you know, I think it was Chad Hoover gave me some feedback that, hey, you know, their QuickBooks, you know, was sinking all their, their bills and, and expenses, but, you know, it was also blowing up his feed. And so he's like, hey, I really want a way to have more granular, you know, filters and be able to just see the information that is, you know, what, what he wants to follow. And so we, we have just blown out these filters on here. You know, you can check one or many. It's going to save it, you know, as long as you stay logged in on that device. You know, it's a great way to really customize that feed. And this works on both the, the, the home dashboard, you know, the customer, the vendor, the job, anywhere that you've got the feed, you've got these options to now see more or less, uh, you know, information. Really good update. Uh, thanks. Thanks again, uh, Chad. Uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, you know, you're, you're welcome, man. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that feedback. I'm glad we were able to get that implemented. All right. Another big one. This one really for, for all those people, and we have almost a thousand customers using our QuickBooks online integration. And, you know, the ability to sync in the bills and expenses has been tremendously valuable. But one thing that has, you know, that we did see was that a lot of times, you know, if we're not able to match the exact line item on the invoice or on the bill that's being synced into JobTread with, you know, the correct line item, if, you know, if there's, you know, multiple line items of the same cost codes, you know, we can't make that one-to-one -one match automatically, then, you know, we do bring them in as uncategorized. But now we have made it even easier for you to be able to get in there and reclassify them. In this new uncategorized report, you know, this is this is an interactive, you know, report that you can see on the reports tab at the very bottom. You know, it, it allows you to recategorize all of the line items to the appropriate thing in the budget. You know, this, this again, this is across all jobs. You can do this on any individual job, but we brought it here just to make it easier, you know, for you to make sure that all of the expenses are categorized in the right place. You know, obviously, if you if you if you log your expenses and bills and job tread directly and push them to QuickBooks and they're automatically in the right place, you know, but we understand there's a lot of times when you may be using third parties, you know, like Dex or um, you know, bill.com or whatever it may be to sync in the data to QuickBooks and then that pushes into job trip. So we want to make sure we give you all the tools that we can to help you, you know, keep that in order. Uh, Kim, yeah, happy account there. Yeah, lots of lots of happy uh, people. Oh, my bookkeeper is going to cry of tears and nice. All right. So moving on. Again, as I said, you know, once we joined, uh, you know, the, the, the remodelers advantage and started working with more and more, you know, larger home builders, you know, people who are running their jobs, you know, with cost plus, uh, it, it became apparent that we needed to continue focusing on how do we improve that experience for uh, for you all. And so we've 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 made some big strides. You know, now when you create a new job, you've got the ability to choose the job price type. So if you're running a fixed price job or a cost plus job, or if you've got no customer, you know, maybe you're, you're you know, building a spec home or you're a real estate investor, you know, you, you're your own customer. You now have those three different types that you can use when you create the job. And so for the cost plus people, you know, the, the, the profit columns are now going to reflect the projected price or the actual price, whichever one is greater, instead of, you know, using some of the other projections that may be for, you know, a fixed price job, we're now taking into account that you're running this job as cost plus and have modified those, those, those profit columns and projections. And once an item is marked final, you know, the profit column, again, it's going to reflect the actual price. And uh, it's it's just a big update here uh, that 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 you know is really you know we know has made a big impact for people. Uh, also, when you are creating invoices, you can now see which bills and which uh, you know time entries have already been added to an invoice. You know this is this is again it's a, it's a big update that that is you know was something that you guys had requested for a long time. Um, so we're really excited to have that uh, you know have have that uh, you know get out there. Again, you can also view all the documents that are related to another document. So, you know, again, when, whenever you create, you know, an invoice that's related to a, a bill, you can see that link or, or to the time entry. You know, whenever you create an invoice from a proposal, they're now linked and you can see that. So, you know, again, we, 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 we wanted to make this as easy as possible to track everything back. Um, so it's, it's a huge update. I hope you all are, are excited. I hope this has been helpful. You know, it was a lot of feedback, a lot of, you know, kind of challenges when you didn't know before. So glad we got that in there. And, and we've got some more awesome updates coming for these cost plus jobs as well. Uh, I can't wait. We, we have essentially got a plan to create shared budget views so that you can, you know, essentially decide what information from your budget you would like to share with, you know, on the client portal, on the vendor portal. You're going to be able to essentially have that true open book and share this out there on the portal with your customers Again, we know a lot of times, you know, it's 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 really important to you all, and so we, we're we're committed to making that happen as well. Uh, look look forward to that coming in the next, uh, you know, couple months or so. All right, moving on. We have got 
the ability to now save the job budgets to the catalog. You know, a lot of times we see people are, you know, building out these, these really awesome elaborate budgets and, you know, you, you don't always start in the catalog. And so, you know, instead of, you know, you having to export it and re-import it and all the workarounds, you know, that, that it took to get that saved as a template, we've now made it super easy. You can select every single line item, just checking on that box. And then you hit add, you know, selected to catalog. And that's going to save a new cost group template directly in your catalog. You know, it, it, it's just going to save you guys tons of time, you know, being able to uh, to, to do that. And uh, yeah, super excited to, to have gotten that out there. Uh, you know, we've also added a couple more export options. You know, the, the, the PDF of the, you know, the budget is, is, is there. So, you know, again, please, please keep, uh, you know, giving us feedback on how we can further streamline, you know, your usage of job tread. You know, my, my team is just like crushing it. We are so excited for these updates. Going to keep going here. All right. I am super excited about these two, man. Like so much good stuff, right? Like, you know, let's see it in the chat. If you've liked what I've shown you so far, like, you know, tell me what your favorite thing's been so far. Um, we got a lot more coming though. And I just need to take a quick drink of water. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. All right. So schedule baseline, you know, again, uh, we, we heard this feedback for a long time. You know, people wanted to be able to see how the schedule has changed over time. And so, you know, when you're building out that initial schedule, you know, you can now set the baseline and that's going to essentially save the, the, the original start and end date. It shows you exactly when you originally anticipated to complete this job. And so you've got an easy way to toggle it on and off to show, you know, because as you make changes and as the job's running, you might want to be able to see exactly, you know, where it was and kind of what those changes are. So you can now see that on an individual job, but we've also made it where if you go to the main, you know, all jobs Gantt chart, you can see it across all your jobs in one place. It's a tremendous update. And then even on the, on the, the jobs, you know, custom views and reports here, you can also add these baseline, you know, dates and see the variances you know, directly on there for every single job in one view. You know, this is this is tremendously helpful for you all to be able to reflect back on each and every job to understand how do we perform and, you know, where do we get off track? When You know, what point did this job start slipping? And that helps you to then, you know, in the future, make sure that you are allocating enough time, you know, to the things that you may be underestimating. You know, you may need to increase how long you think it's going to take and put more buffer in there. So we think it's a great tool. Super excited about this one. We've also now got the ability to display uh, the availability and all the scheduling conflicts directly on a job schedule. You can just click that view availability button at the bottom of the schedule, and it's going to show you weekly availability for all of your internal users, as well as your vendors. So that's, you know, your subs, your suppliers, you know, the availability icon. When, when you look at assigning a particular person a task, you're going to see there could be a red, a green or a yellow you know, this is going to indicate, you know, if if they have other tasks, you know, scheduled for that same day and that same time. And if so, you can even click on that little calendar icon and it will pop up and show you exactly what they have scheduled and the miles from the job that you're looking at. You know, tremendous, tremendous update here it really helps with resource management. You know, if you haven't checked that out, definitely get into that one. That is a big, big, you know, improvement that I'm super excited about. We've also since released the ability for you to create your own saved, you know, task custom views. So, you know, a lot of times and, and before we, we know people would click on the task and it would always default, you know, to a particular one, but they may want to have something different. And so now you can create your own custom views for your organization as well as for your own user. You know, it, this, this lets you default, you know, maybe you just want to see my task every time you go there and you want it in a list view, or maybe you want it on a calendar. Maybe you want to always see the, you know, the all, the all, uh, you know, job schedule, whatever you pref prefer and whatever filters and settings you can filter by, you know, again, the, the type you can filter by the users, lots of options in here. This is a huge update, you know, even also adding the ability when, when you're deciding who you want to view, you can now pick multiple people and save that. This just makes it so much easier for you to manage all of your tasks, your scheduling views, both at the organization level as well as on the job level. And lastly, with uh, with tasks, this, this update, again, huge request from all of you out there to be able to attach files to tasks. 
you know, again, this, this may allow you to, you know, for, for your subs, you know, are working on something to upload a photo there to ask you a question, or maybe you got specific, you know, details or, or, or plans or specs related to that one task. You can now attach that directly onto the task, you know, so it's, it's, it's a great, you know, great update there. Uh, and so now I, I'm going to hop in real quick. We're going to do a quick live demo of some of these features. I don't want to spend too long, but um, you know, so, so, so you can see now, so I'm in, I'm in my, uh, you know, my JT custom homes here. I'm going to go to the task, you know, and so I've got, you know, the default, I want to see everything, you know, that is assigned to me, all of my incomplete tasks, you know, obviously I'm a little bit behind here, uh, but you can see this, this is a great way for me to just have that preferred view uh, just for me. And as usual, you've got all the settings here. So, you know, lots of, lots of different settings that you can set, you know, uh, you can also come in here and just, you know, this view is saved, you know, assigned to me so that that will work for everybody. Um, you can also, again, have, you know, maybe I want to see all the tasks on a calendar view, you know, so I've already got that set up exactly how I want to see it. Or maybe I want to see, you know, again, the, the all the all jobs Gantt chart right here, you know, right here, I can see exactly, you know, the, the expected completion date. I can even open up, you know, one or multiple of these and see the detailed calendar and schedule for this job. And then also to show the baseline, I can toggle that out. And now I can see exactly, you know, where we are and where we got off track and where the original, you know, schedule was set. You know, this is what you can see. And you can continue to look at job after job, super powerful stuff. And then if I go, you know, to this one calendar in particular, you know, again, you, you see all the color coding is the task types. You know, you can see the check mark to indicate if it's done or if it's, you know, if it's behind. But here's where that view availability is. We can pop it up. We can see, you know, a week view of all of my subs, all of my internal users, what they've got scheduled, you know, super powerful to just have that right here, you know, directly in the, in the schedule so that you don't have to leave and go open up another window. We're bringing it right to where you need it. And, and lastly, we were talking about, you know, being able to assign people. So here, when I click on this task, I can see, you know, Tony Romo, you know, he, he has uh, got some conflicts. I see, you know, Josh Vindy, he, he's available. He's good to go. But if I click on Tony Romo's conflicts, it's going to show me what other jobs and what other tasks he's been assigned to and how far away. So looks like he's on another job here. That's, you know, 2.9 miles away. I can now decide, do I think he can get both these done in the same day? Or do I need to look at scheduling for another day? You know, super valuable to have that insight right there. Um, and then again, of course, right, you know, right there on the task is where you can upload, you know, any files, photos. So uh, I'm super excited about this update. You know, uh, Nate and, and, and the team did a great job building out the schedule. And we've still got more that we want to do, but we, we feel really good that this is a phenomenal tool to help you manage your job schedules, keep your jobs on time and get them completed. Uh, so super, super, super great job by my team. You know, definitely let's let's see in the chat. Uh, you know, if you're liking those updates and, and, and you've already been able to take advantage of them, you know, let me know. Uh, really, really, really excited about this. Uh, I think it's just taking this to a whole nother level. All right. So without. Uh, yeah. So, 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 you know, again, got another exciting integration, too. So we released the, the company cam integration. Um, you know, maybe like a month or so ago, you know, we've already had, you know, a couple hundred people have have, uh, you know, enabled it. You know, company cam is a great app you know, for, for, for taking a lot of photos, for marking them up, you know, tagging them, you know, and so now what we've enabled you to do is connect your company cam account directly to your job trade account. If you have existing projects in company cam, you can map those and it will sync. Uh, I think it's like up to the first thousand photos will sync in if you, you know, or, or otherwise when you create a new job, you can have it, it'll automatically create the project in company cam. And as you add photos, they automatically sync into job tread. Uh, and also, if you tag your photos in company cam, you know, assuming that same tag is available in JobTrade, it's going to automatically transfer that over. You know, any any files that, you know, and photos that you edit in company cam are also going to be automatically updated, you know, in JobTrade. So, you know, super, super helpful integration. You know, really excited about this. You know, our, our, our team, Andrew, he, he, he did a great job rolling this out. And we've seen lots of great, um, you know, great feedback about it so far. All right, without further ado, let us talk about formulas. This has seriously been a dream of mine from the very beginning of job tread. I, I am so excited that we have finally been able to deliver this new feature. 
You know, this is this is going to allow you to use formulas to to do all sorts of advanced estimating to just automate, you know, a lot of the labor takeoff, the material takeoff. You can use production rates to calculate the number of hours or days that are going to be required for a project. You can use coverage rates to calculate how much material, how many you know gallons of paint or how many you know linear feet of some you know product or how many two by fours you need. Like there are so many amazing ways that this is going to allow you to streamline your estimating. And, and as uh, Mark Flanders said yesterday and on, on Job Trade Pros, like this literally he can now crank out an estimate within minutes. This is just game changer. The way that that Casey uh, has built this is is just you know incredible, and it really truly embodies our approach to create you know simple but flexible and powerful features within JobTread. So I, I can't wait to show you this. You know this is this is a you know just a little example here that you can see. So if we wanted to calculate you know the the linear feet of you know concrete forms that we need, you know we can essentially have. Uh, you know, some some job parameters that I created for the concrete length and the concrete width. We're going to multiply those both by two and add them together. And that's going to populate that quantity, you know, based on those parameters. You know, if you see these curly brackets, this means that we're referencing either, you know, a, a, a job parameter, which we'll get into in a second. You can reference um, the cost group quantities. You can reference the item quantity, the unit cost, the unit price. You can also reference uh, cost item custom fields. The, the the power is is just incredible here. The possibilities are endless, and we are so excited that we've also made it where it's super easy for you to be able to you know import and export your formulas directly into CSV. If you wanted to make a bunch of mass updates and and kind of work them out in Excel first and then import it into JobTread, you can do that. If you wanted to share, you know, hopefully one day someone's going to share their you know, their, their catalog with all their formulas, you know, their budget templates, you will be able to export that, share it on job trade pros. Others can just directly import it. It is like super incredible. Um, you can even copy and paste formulas. You know, if someone shares it on job trade pros, someone wants to test it out. You can literally copy that text, paste it directly into one of the formula fields and you'll be off to the races. And then you can also see when you're building the formulas, like there's this, this, uh, you know, this little drop down that's going to show you all of the things that you can reference from those parameters, those those quantities, the you know the custom fields, as well as all of the other functions that we have added as support for you to build out incredible formulas that are going to help streamline your estimating process. So let's talk about parameters. You know, we we have added the ability for you to create custom parameters, and you can create them in your catalog, or you can create them on the fly directly in Jobs. You can have three different types of parameters as well. You know, you can have numerical parameters. You could have pick list parameters where you could have, you know, different preset options. And then you can also have formula parameters. So for example, if, if I created a parameter for length and a parameter for width, you know, maybe I want to have a formula parameter that automatically calculates the square feet, which is going to be the length times the width. Super powerful stuff. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with and what you can do here. Um, and, and like I said, too, like you can you can literally while you're building a formula can put in in curly braces, you know, curly brackets there. You can put in whatever variable you want and it will create it on the fly right then and there. You know, now it'll default it to a numerical value. So you may want to go in and, and edit it and change it to a pick list or, you know, populate a formula. But like without having to leave your current workflow and your process of building these, you can create these on the fly. You can also see which. Uh, you know, which cost items and which, you know, formulas are using any given parameter, you know, it, it's super helpful to be able to see that at a glance, you can just kind of hover over, and it'll show you exactly what is referencing that parameter. So let's hop in. This is the demo I've been waiting to do. Uh, again, dream, dreams are coming true right here right now. So I'm going to switch over to uh, I built out uh, a, a painting example here. Um, so I'm switching into this, uh, this, this JT painting organization. Um, I'm going to, you know, basically I'm going to come over here. We're going to find, uh, you know, Eric and uh, we're, we'll do Eric and Deja. I'm going to come over. I'm going to create a new job. And uh, we're just going to say this is going to be an interior paint job. You know, again, I'll keep it fixed price. I can, you know, could set these status. I'm just going to skip over it right now. We're going to create the new job. And so now first thing I'm going to do, go over here to the budget. This is where you know, just like before, if, if you have already saved this template in your catalog, you're going to be able to just go new group. I'm going to do this interior paint, you know, with selection here. I'm pulling in that template. When I open this up, you're going to see that I've got, 
you know, my, my three line items here, we've got my, my paint preparation, I've got my wall labor and I've got my ceiling labor, you know, so I wanted to kind of separate those a little bit, get a little bit more advanced here. Um, I've also got, you know, a selection. So I'm going to allow my customer to pick which paint uh, in, in particular they want. So as we kind of look through some of these, you know, these, these are the formulas and you can see, you can have formulas for the quantity, for the unit cost and for the unit price, you know, and then I've also, I've added some, you know, some, some custom fields here so that you can see, you know, maybe I want to take into account, you know, the crew size or the, the labor production rate, and maybe you have various labor production rates for different, you know, for different line items. And so, you know, again, super powerful to be able to have this on a line by line basis, but I'm going to first go over here. I'm going to open up this parameters. So this is where you can see, these are all the parameters that were automatically pulled in. When I pulled in that, that budget template, any parameter that was referenced in that budget template that, that was you know, not, a, not a custom field over here, it automatically created it for me. So again, if I send out my estimator, you know, someone to go out into the field and just take measurements, get dimensions, they can just directly come right here. You know, we're going to say, man, we're going to do, you know, we got 400 linear feet of wall that we're going to do. Let's say it's a, you know, an eight foot high ceiling there. Um, we've got uh, our ceiling link. Let's just say, you know, I don't know, we'll just say 40, you know, by 40. So I'm plugging that in, you know, if I hover over this little uh, link, you can see exactly, you know, which line items are referencing that formula. And when I click save right here, boom, automatically my interior paint, the number of square feet has been calculated instantly. I've got my wall length times my wall height, you know, and then I've also got my ceiling length times my ceiling uh, width. And so that is calculating my total square feet, my total, you know, the, the, the subsurfaces that we need to paint have been automatically calculated. Now let's look down here. So I've got my paint preparation. I need to know how many hours is it going to take me to, to, to you know, do, set up all the, the tape and the masking and all that. And so my, 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 my formula is my parent quantity, which is the group, you know, so this is the, you know, the, these line items are in this group. So it's referencing that, that, uh, you know, parent quantity divided by my labor production rate. So this is how many square feet per hour can a single crew, you know, take care of. And so again, this tells me that I need 9.6 hours to, to do all the paint preparation for this, you know, 4,800 square feet job. Now, again, you know, you, you could come in here, maybe, maybe you think they could do it a little faster at, you know, seven, 750. Okay. So if they can do it that, then we only need 6.4 hours, you know, looking down here at the wall paint, you know, so, you know, Alex and I were talking about, you know, can, can, you know, is there a difference between how many square feet of, you know, wall you can paint versus ceiling? He said, yeah, sure. So let's have, you know, some, some different labor production rates here. So when we're painting a wall, you know, may, you know, it's probably with a roller, you know, we can cover, let's say 150 square feet per hour, you know, per crew. And so here I've, I've taken, you know, essentially I want to round up. So I took the seal, you know, I've got my wall length times my wall height, you know, so that's telling me, you know, the, 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 the square feet, it, you know, for the wall divided by my labor production rate. So divided by 150 square feet, you know, and that, and that times the number of, you know, of crew. So, you know, if, if, if we essentially want to come over here and say, you know what, I think we, we're going to have a two person crew, then we only need 11 hours, you know, versus when it was one, we needed 22 hours, you know, so you can come in here and just very quickly make modifications that are going to essentially help you, you know, in real time, seamlessly calculate your production rate, you know, understanding how many hours and then obviously my unit cost is going to be, you know, whatever, you know, you're, 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 you're paying to, to get the work done. That'll calculate your cost. And then obviously, you know, you've got your margin and pricing just like before. Um, so you can see, again, super easy having this template in there just like makes this so fast to be able to do it. You know, I've also got over here, you know, I've got my, my paint selections, right? You know, so again, my material coverage rate, you know, I plugged in 350, you know, for each gallon of paint, you know, so that's telling me, you know, based on, you know, the number of square feet you know, 4,800 square feet divided by 350, you know, I've rounded it up. So I need 14 gallons <coughs> of these paints. So again, we're, we're just seamlessly calculating that now for whatever reason. And, and typically you would probably save this in the catalog. So you're not necessarily doing it here, but you know, let's say this, you know, this one particular, you know, we can only get 300, you know, square feet per gallon, you know, so, so that, you know, you may have varying, you know, material coverage rates, you know, or maybe again, it's, you know, how many, you know, truckloads of concrete do you need? How many two by fours? How many, you know, deck boards? Like the sky is the limit here to, to set this up and to automatically do this material takeoff to come up with the number of, 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 you know, everything that you need to buy. This is so powerful. 
you know, and again, maybe let's say, you know, if we wanted to just give you another example, maybe we wanted to uh, add um, number of coats, you know, let's say, you know, but, but I don't, I don't want to necessarily do it on a line by line basis. I'm just going to come over here. You know, I'm going to add a new, a new job parameter. Let's just say, um, you know, or actually here, even easier. I'll just come over here and let's say for this wall paint, you know, I want to know, um, you know, how many, so, so we need to know how many, um, you know, uh, you know, basically I need to double the, uh, the, the, the amount of paint that we need. So I'm going to double the square foot here. So, you know, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to go ahead and put this in uh, parentheses here just to be extra, you know, extra sure what we're doing, you know, times, and I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know, uh, you know, we're just going to say number of coats. So in real time on the fly, I'm going to create this new parameter. You can see it's now TBD because basically the number of coats hasn't been populated. But when I come up in here to my parameters list, I now have number of coats. Let's go with two. We're going to save that. And so now we see we're back to 22 hours. You know, if we only had one crew, you know, we looks like we'd be at 43 hours. Like, again, what a phenomenal update, you know. And, and again, if you bake this into your formula, you're going to be able to just set this thing up so that you can very quickly build out, you know, your, your, your jobs, your estimates. You know, again, now that I've got this all ready to go, I'm just going to select everything. Um, or first, I'm going to save it here. So, so I've got it saved. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to select everything, new document, create a proposal. You know, just hit create, and boom, I now have a proposal ready to go. They can see the breakdown of my my paint prep, my wall, my ceilings. Um, you know, again, maybe you, you might not want to show a breakdown like that, and you can obviously hide it just like you can before. You know, come in here, let the customer make any selections. Actually, maybe we'll go with this one. You know, control their budget. You know, again. It, 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 this can now be done in minutes. This is going to save you so much time and help make sure that you're accurately estimating the number of hours and the number of, you know, the, the materials that you need for your jobs. I, I'm just blown away, guys, like how easy this is. And, and, and it's just incredible. And, and the fact that Casey Foster, my co-founder, the most incredible developer I've ever worked with, he single-handedly built this in 30 days. This is mind blowing. None of us here understand how he was able to do this, but it goes to the technology and the quality of developers that we have on this team. This is what is gonna make us the number one construction management app, the number one estimating app. You know, Our goal is to be the absolute best product on the market. And this is just case in point. This changes the game. I have seen so many other apps. We studied everything and they're hard coding their, their, their formulas. They're hard coding all of this, like we have literally made this so simple and so flexible in the power. It is just, guys, this is incredible. I want to thank everyone who was involved in helping us, you know, scope out the requirements for this, the testing, you know, all the feedback we've got. And I'm so excited to see what you all can do with these budgets. Um, you know, again, it, it, it is just, it, it is just mind blowing here. Like I, I, I cannot even begin to think about the thousands of companies that we are gonna change how they are estimating projects and how much time and how much more efficient you're gonna be able to do, how much more accurate. Guys, this is this is just you know revolutionary here. And I, I, I wholeheartedly believe we have done it the best I've ever seen it done in the market. And it's, it's also so exciting to think about you guys getting on Job Tread Pros and sharing with each other, you know, formulas and, and strategies and, and collaborating. Like, I think we're going to probably, you know, start throwing up maybe like for a little while, do like a, a, a weekly formulas think tank, you know, where everyone can just hop on Zoom and we can just have an open dialogue and show, you know, what you're trying to build, what's working, what you're struggling with. And, and again, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. And we're going to be providing lots more training, you know, lots more, uh, you know, kind of, kind of help for you guys. But yeah, I, I am so excited about this, everyone. I, I hope you're just as excited as I am. And I'm barely scratching the surface with what this can do, but we will uh, have to put that off for, for another, uh, another, another time. One last thing I'm going to say though, in this custom view, um, when you, when you want to add these quantity formulas, you know, you just, you're going to need to go to the very bottom. You know, we couldn't modify because everyone may have re reordered this. So look for them at the bottom of this list, and then you can drag them and put them wherever you want uh, to build out your own, you know, formula takeoff. You know, maybe, you know, you could even have, you know, maybe I want to do my, my, my material, you know, takeoff and I, and I just filter by materials or my labor takeoff. Cause again, you might want to, you know, in your different views, you could have different custom fields that you want to show. Uh, but again, sky is the limit. I can't wait to see what you guys can do at this. All right, so that is formulas. We are not done though. I got another exciting update. Here we go. So 
we have a notifications update. As you all know, we have been working on, you know, and have, and have embarked on our new notifications and communications uh, projects. And later today, we are going to be rolling out a brand new, very robust notification center, notification preferences. We have given you all sorts of granular control to decide what you get notified about, where you get notified. And we've also added push notifications. You got a new notification center in the app. You got push notifications. You can have email notifications. You know, if you do the push, they'll you know automatically show up on your Apple Watch. Like this is this is game changer. The fact that we can do push notifications to your devices, whether it's your computer, you know, your phone, your tablet, the fact that we can do that with a progressive web app is just incredible. This is brand new technology. This is again, we're moving away from the need to have you know, device specific applications. We are getting it, you know, without that, we are just, you know, leveraging this technology. And so uh, I'm really excited about this. Uh, you can see uh, that, oh, let's see, we, we've, uh, uh, oh, I guess I skipped this page. Let me come back to this one. So again, with the notifications, you, you, you know, this shows you how you can tailor them. You can personalize. Do you want to just get the notifications within the app or do you want to get them emailed and push notifications? You can also, the really neat thing we've done here is we're allowing you on the roll to be able to define the default for all of your users for that role. So if you wanna set up different defaults for your customer, you can, for your subs, you can, for your project managers, your estimators, your bookkeepers, you can customize these notifications by role. Now, they have the option to come in and, and, and untoggle, you know, so that they're not using the defaults and they can customize them however they want, but the neat thing about letting them, you know, just use the defaults and, 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 and just that means that anytime we add a new notification or you make a change, that'll automatically be rolled out to them, assuming they haven't, you know, kind of turned that off and customized it for themselves. But there are so many options of what's going to be available here. Um, so, yeah, I, I am super excited and I'm going to switch over and just real quickly uh, show you. Let me see here. I've got so here I'm in a uh, I'm, I'm in a staging. This is this hadn't been rolled out yet to production. Um, you know, we, we, we wanted to, before we do that, we wanted to give you all a second, you know, to, to think about this and to prepare for this big update. You know, we're going to migrate all of the existing notification settings so that hopefully people will get the same, you know, notifications that they may have been getting before. Um, but now this is on, on every device, you know, you can come in here and you'll need to, you know, toggle this on and click, you know, some sort of allow, um, you know, it, it, each device has its own you know, you, you have to enable the, note, the the push notifications. So on your phone and your desktop, if you want them there both, you'll have to enable that. But then down here, this is where you can see, and I'm just going to open all these up. This is essentially going to show you the, 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 the breadth of, you know, notifications that we have enabled. And so you can come in here and you can basically decide, you know, what do you want to get notified about? You know, for this, for the, you know, for any comments created, do you want to get notified about all of them? Do you want to get notified about just, you know, the, the things that are related to something that you've created, or maybe just the, the, the conversations where you've participated, you, you know, you created it yourself, or you, you know, you've replied, you know, or, or maybe none, you could turn those off if you want, you know, but for each and everything within JobTread, all sorts of options here. If you all want to get notified about, you know, whenever, let, let's say, you know, a, a, a customer has, you know, signed a, a, a proposal, or has, you know, viewed a document, you know, you can come in here and, and now get a push notification. You know, if you want to know every time they have, have viewed your proposal or they viewed your invoice and you want to get that ding, you know, go for it. It's all you. You can now choose to customize this. But I'm so excited too, just like in Facebook, because I live on my notifications. We now have this notification center built directly into JobTread. You can now see for everything that you've been able to get notified about, you're going to have all of these notifications right here. So you can see exactly when it happened. You can click on them. You can go straight to that record. You can view all or just your unread. I can mark them all as read. The power of this is just awesome. You know, we, we are so excited about this update. But really, really even more exciting is this is just the beginning. Coming next, we're going to enable you to create custom notifications and to create reminders. You will be able to, you know, do whatever you want based on, you know, custom fields or, you know, maybe you want to get reminded about tasks or about proposals that are past due. Like, the, again, we didn't want to try to, do, you know, define all these custom, you know, things that everyone may want to do. So we're going to give you the power to build your own 
custom notifications and reminders. Uh, it, it, again, game changer right here. We are so excited about this, you know, but again, this is just the beginning. After, after these custom notifications and reminders, you know, I, we're going to be moving on to, um, you know, to, to do some additional communication updates, you know, to, to basically be able to allow you to have messages directly in the app, send out messages to whoever you want, you know, receive the messages, you know, if they reply to emails, having that come directly into the, in, into job tread, you know, on a job, you'll be able to have this inbox where you can see every single piece of communication between you and the customer or you and a sub or, you know, whoever you're going to have this all organized and, and in this new message center, we are so excited about communications. You know, again, like I said, being able to take the email replies directly, create those message records that's coming. It's going to be huge. Um, after that, you know, we, we, we will look at, uh, you know, being able to enable certain things to be sent out via text message as well. But again, another super cool update that came out of job tread pros, was uh, the ability to use Zapier to send text messages, you know, and, and we saw how someone was building this Zap, you know, Sam here, he, he, he and I hopped on, hopped on Zoom, he showed me what he's trying to do, he showed me where he's getting stuck, we made a couple little updates, and now anytime a document gets sent, you can, you can have a, a trigger for the document uh, recipient has been updated, and that will allow you to then automatically send a text message directly from Zapier, you know, in this, in this instance, we used open phone and it can just text that, that recipient. So whether it's your customer, it's your subcontractor, you know, it's, it's one of, you know, whoever it is, you're going to be able to, you know, use Zapier today to start sending out text notifications. And we've given you the direct link that they can click right from that text message to open straight up into the job tread portal and, and, and view whatever it was that, you know, whatever document you sent them. This is a huge update. Really excited about this. But again, we got a lot more really exciting things coming with communication. So stay tuned. It's going to be huge. So that's what I've got to show for today. Uh, again, these look for these notification updates coming out later today. You know, and then we'll start working on those, those, those uh, you know, communication updates, those custom you know, notifications. Those will be coming out next. Um, I'm, I'm also excited to announce a few other things that, that we've got coming up here soon, too. You know, we're going to start working on, you know, some improvements to the job dashboard, which ultimately also is, is directly, you know, often viewed in the client and vendor portal, you know, adding cover photos, being able to, you know, have the, the, the customer's contact information. You know, there, there's, there's some other key things that you all have asked for, and we're excited to go and make some of those updates to take that client portal to the next level. It's going to be awesome. You know, again, those those shared budget views at some point will, will come, you know, after after some of these kind of portal updates, we've got a lot more coming. It's 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 really important to us that we've got an amazing customer and client experience for you all. So look forward to those updates coming. Uh, we've also got some really exciting updates to the QuickBooks Online integration. Um, we probably would have already had them out uh, this week, but uh, our our our, our uh, QuickBooks developer Andrew he he already had a, a trip, a vacation scheduled to uh, uh, to. Uh, you know, to the, to, to somewhere in Arizona. And so, you know, uh, Grand Canyon, uh, with his family. So, you know, I, by all means, I, you know, I was like, man, all right, you gotta go. You, you've been crushing it. Go take a little time, enjoy your time off. Uh, and so next week when he gets back in, we're going to allow you when you create a, a vendor bill or expense in job tread, if you want to push it in as an expense to QuickBooks, instead of a bill right now, everything goes in as a bill, which doesn't really always make sense. We've now given you the ability to select an account that that expense should be associated to. So for example, if you've got a Home Depot receipt that you wanna log, you know, create it, create it as an expense, upload that receipt, you know, and select, you know, maybe it's your, your Home Depot account or your Home Depot credit card or whatever credit card it was. When you select that, it will then automatically push that in as an expense instead of as a bill. And again, it makes it super easy when your bookkeeper's going through reconciling those expenses, they're already in there. Uh, really excited about this update. You know, shout out to Penny Lane for, uh, you know, for 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 hopping on, uh, you know, Zoom and walking us through how this could be done. You know, we were able to get that implemented and, and, and hopefully rolled out next week. Uh, another also really exciting update, you know, with, with uh, you know, the, the Canadian uh, in, in Canada, they have a, a very complex tax situation. Uh, it's called dual tax. You know, they, it, it's kind of crazy, to be honest. And, and I think they all know, and it's, you know, kind of, they, they would all tell you it's the bane of their existence having to, you know, report on all this and, and try to track it. 
and, and almost no software company out there has really been able to, you know, fully crack this. And I'm so excited that, you know, through our partnership with Intuit, uh, we were able to get a QuickBooks online developer who is located in Canada, very familiar with it. He got on Zoom with us. We, we, we showed him the code. We showed him how we were trying to push in, you know, the, the, these dual tax rates with, you know, you, you've got your PST, your GST, your HST, you know, the harmonized tax. Like there are all sorts of scenarios and some of them weren't pushing in correctly. And he immediately saw what we needed to do to modify it. We got it modified. You know, we, we now have this working uh, in, in, in development. We're excited to push this out. This is going to allow you, if you need to have, you know, those multiple taxes, you know, you're going to be able to now push those into QuickBooks and it'll automatically be associated to the right tax account and right tax agency there. Um, and, and again, this is, you know, this, this same scenario is, is going to you know, work for Australia. Um, so there are some other countries in the world that, that, that have that same thing. Uh, but this is, again, just the beginning. It has been extremely complicated to try to wrap my head around how this all works. Thank you to everyone out there who has sent us you know, tons of information. They have walked us through it like probably, you know, tons of times. You know, we're, we're excited too that after this to take the next step to support this first class within JobTread where you can directly, you know, if you need to relabel a, uh, you know, what the tax line is called, maybe, you know, we got people in the UK want to call it that, you'll be able to do that. Or if you want to have multiple, you know, tax, tax breakdowns there, you know, you can have your PST and your GST. You know, we're excited to add that support directly in JobTread for you. This is how we're going to continue to go global. We want JobTread to, to, to be a tool that, you know, builders and contractors can use all over the world. We're excited to, to be rolling that out here soon. And lastly, you know, another really exciting update, like as we've been able to continue growing and, and guys like JobTread is just, you know, the, the, the growth of this thing has just been, you know, so exciting to watch. You know, we, we have hundreds of customers, you know, signing up now, you know, every month. And, you know, in order to help us streamline that implementation, like what we're finding is that a lot of these, you know, a lot of these clients, you know, or a lot of these customers are coming from, you know, their, their, their bookkeeper or their coach. They're finding out about it from others. Or, you know, we've even got franchises now that are wanting to move their entire, you know, franchise organization over to JobTread. And, and the thing about it is that, you know, every time if someone creates an account that's, you know, through, you know, their, their bookkeeper or their coach or, or franchise, like they want it set up the exact same way. And so that's taken us, you know, a little bit more time to manually go do it. And so what we're going to do to further enable us to be able to rapidly scale is we're going to create a feature called connected organizations. And this is going to allow, you know, someone to create their job tread, you know, directly from another, uh, you know, let's say, you know, your bookkeeper's you know, from, from their job tread org, it'll, it'll, you know, use the template that they've set up to just instantly on creation, set you up exactly how they think that your business should be set up. You know, it, the cost codes, the, you know, the custom fields, the data views, you know, the catalog, it can all be, you know, just seamlessly imported. And this is going to save us a tremendous amount of time. You know, if you have a bookkeeper out there that you've gotten on your job tread, you know, please like ask them, hey, do you have other construction companies, you know, that are that are, you know, that, that you work with that may benefit from this? If so, you know, they should check out job tread. If you know, if your coaching group, like make sure your coaches understand how you're using, you know, job tread so that they can again promote this to their networks. Like this is how we're going to continue to exponentially grow. We're at almost 1,800 customers right now. You know, we, we, we started in 2021 when we started selling, we got it to 200. You know, last year we got it to around 1,000. This year our goal was 2,000. We're going to blow through that, you know, probably, you know, maybe by the end of October, early November, I think we'll get, you know, 2,200 or so customers this year. But next year, we're not stopping. We want to double up again. You know, we want to continue growing this company and, and we want to scale it so that we can be the new standard for managing your construction jobs. And we are setting ourselves up to scale and so, again, I'm really excited about this, uh, you know, this feature. It's also going to allow new customers who are just signing up for job trade on their own to say, hey, what type of organization am I? Am I a home builder? Am I a remodel or a pool builder or a deck builder? And they can say, yeah, I want to I want to basically start with all the templates for pool builders. And we can just load in, you know, what we think is just the optimal setup for them. It's going to be a great way for us to share these templates. This also sets us up for having our global catalog that we're excited to continue working on you know, here as well, you know, again, we got so much going on, guys. It's it's going to be huge. I'm, I'm so excited about this development roadmap. And just so you know, too, as you guys have seen, these are just our big rocks. 
we've got a bunch of smaller things that as they come up and as we see opportunities, you know, we're constantly putting out the smaller updates, those quality of life updates that, that you guys let us know that we see it's a no brainer. Let's just drop it in there real quick and keep going. So yeah, look forward to, to many more exciting updates coming on. Uh, now one other update I want to share. So if you all are using Gusto for your payroll, we have already built out and are nearly done with the integration so that all of your time hours can push into Gusto for payroll. However, they have declined our application. And they said, because there were not enough requests for it. I didn't realize that people needed to request it. I'm sure y'all didn't either. Please go help us. If you have Gusto, log in today, get everyone on your team who can log in, go to the app directory, search for job tread, click submit a request, and then put in exactly, you know, you, you need to under the app name, search again for job tread, select job tread, and let's just fill this up. I have already, as, as many of you may have seen on job tread pros and you guys reached out, you know, we, we, we rock the boat. I've already got a meeting on Monday with the head of their product development and partnership. I'm confident we're going to be able to get them to reverse this decision. But they told me that the number one thing that they take into account is the number of requests. So please, please, whether you track time or not, if you got to log into Gusto, go submit this. It'll be tremendously helpful for me. This is how we move mountains. I need your help. I'm asking for your help. Thank you. I'm excited to get this update out there. I think Gusto's got a phenomenal payroll product and we can't wait to have an integration with them. So I've gone through a lot. I, I know that, you know, this may have been overwhelming. This is a lot of update. It's just, we're just so excited about it. How you can keep up on the what's new in JobTrade in the help desk. You're going to see all these updates. We put out, you know, kind of information about them. We record videos. You know, you're also going to be able to go and see all of the live training. So, you know, Anna has added some, some formulas and parameters training. It's our job tread 201. You're going to be able to attend that. She would like to request that you attend, you know, your, your job tread 101 and 103 first. But, you know, again, we are here to help you. We want to show you how to maximize your job tread. You know, Anna is doing a phenomenal job, you know, with all of these trainings. You know, everything's also recorded. But please, you know, do check these out. We're happy to help you and look forward to working with you uh, to, to, to make the most of this. We're also planning to do a, a webinar in October, you know, again, talking about formulas and, and how to make the most of that. So stay tuned for all of that. And that's what I got for you all today. I feel like I need a mic, mic drop. Our team, our developers, like, please, big shout out in the chat. If you are impressed by what our team has been able to do, like, seriously, like this, this I woke up this morning, you know, just with chills thinking about the incredible my milestone that, that we have accomplished here today. And we are just getting started. We are determined to build the best product. And I just want to thank you all for being such loyal customers, for supporting us, for all of the time and the help that you've done, you know, for all those reviews. If you like what we're doing and you haven't given us, you know, reviews, please go do that. It, it means the world to us. It helps us, you know, create more awareness, get our name out there. That is the single thing that we need to do is get our name and help other contractors know about job tread. You know, we are, we're not even running ads yet. Barely started scratching the surface. We don't do any outbound prospecting. You know, we're getting so many inbound demos and we, we want to keep doing it that way. It's, it's organic, it's natural. And we're just so thankful for all of you. And thank you for taking the time here today. Really appreciate it. 